Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, welcome to One Who Seeks. I am Tara, your intuitive tarot reader. I actually don't know what the date is today. I believe it is February the 21st, which is a Wednesday. And the only reason I know that is because I'm expecting some tarot cards to come in today. And I've been anticipating it. <laughs> so today we're going to do a twin flame energy spread. This is from my mentor, Soulful Revolution, MJ. This is one of her spreads she has on her class. Where I'm learning all about starting my tarot business right here on YouTube with you. So I guess that means you're my mentor as well. Right. Okay, let's start off with my opening prayer. Okay, I really wish I could see what's being recorded. All right, so there's a lot of unknowns in recording, um, trying to figure out if you're actually in frame, if the camera's still on. Um, a lot of things going on here. So we're definitely learning a lot of new things. <laughs> All right. I protect myself with the clear and malleable bubble that reflects what needs to be seen for your highest good and for the good of others. I invite in only that is of love to join us in this collective reading. I ask the archangels, Michael, to protect us with the light so bright that it surrounds us. Gabriel, to help us be a clear and open channel to the messages coming in. Raphael, to guide us on our path to enlightenment. Thank you for being present in the here and now with us. Please get comfortable. We are open and receptive to our own intuitions, and we honor the emotions and lessons that will be revealed to us. Please send us signs we will recognize to let us know you are here with us. Namaste. Okay, here at this channel, we only invite in love and things that are loving for your highest good and for the good of others. Okay, so twin flame energy spread. Never done this spread before. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Actually wanted to do it for Valentine's Day. Um, but, you know, life happens, so <laughs> we move on. Okay. All right. And actually, the way I wanted to do this, because pick a cards are so popular and everybody seems to love them. And I think I might have done it once or twice. <clears throat> but, um, really going to work with this twin flame energy today. 
All right, we're gonna get our practice in with these three decks. <clears throat> okay, so please take a look at the decks that are being presented, the imagery that you see here. Maybe you're attracted to the crystals that are on top. Maybe you're just attracted to the colors, the images. Sit on it for a minute. This is about your twin flame. Okay, so we're going to be doing the divine feminine energy, the divine masculine energy. What's going on? What is the guidance? Blocks that need to be removed. Messages to me from my divine partner. The outcome. And then we are going to do a few oracles for additional guidance and clarification okay okay so if you picked deck number one of course i just put the box away for this so let's see this is crystal visions tarot excited to be doing this new spread um, I haven't really done all that much to do with the twin flame energy in a while um, I was really like all about it all the time I mean I still am it's just not as prominent since I've gotten married which is interesting right um, on 11 11 of 22 um, feel like maybe I just already know everything that's going on in the relationship so I'm not asking the questions I'm not really sure um, or maybe I just don't want to know the answer to the question so I'm not asking it okay Alright, the first three are the Divine Feminine. Okay, we're probably going to have to split this up a little bit because I'm not going to have enough room. Okay, Divine Masculine. Okay, and then this is what's going on. Okay, so for the feminine, somebody is coming towards you with passion because you are shining your bright light. Okay, they are tempted by you. All right, so you're creating this kind of Adam and Eve moment of creation the creation of life, creation of love. You are a very powerful feminine. Who has a lot of passion and love to give. And then the divine or masculine here uh, kind of looks a little feminine, right? Maybe there's somebody who's more compassionate and understanding and nurturing, right? And here's your, your nutrients here. This is 
sweet, free, carefree, you know, has a lot of inner knowing. A lot of wisdom. Okay, you both have a lot of wisdom here. And then this is what's going on. Some sort of a collaboration. All right, you're coming together. They're coming towards you, coming together. Your wishes are being granted. You got two full moons here. Full moon in Virgo is coming up on the 24th, just in three days here. All right, this also looks like a moon up here. Even though it's your inner light, it's something that you're shining out to be illuminated. This is wish that you have for collaboration. And you need to have a lot of strength to get here. It's a long journey. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. So let's do. Mm -hmm. Let's see which one of my oracles is more. This is more of the love. So we're going to do the mermaids, the oracle of the mermaids. Okay. This is going to be your overarching energy. Divine sensuality, making love, erotica. She almost has like dragon skin. She has webbed fingers, all right? Well, she is a mermaid, right? Lots of red, lots of love, lots of passion. 22, it's your connection, right? Two and two is four, four is your foundation. Four of wands is 11, 11, which is the reading that we're doing right now. All right, this guy's here, this, this divine masculine is very passionate. I mean, you both have a lot of passion. Okay, so I don't know how much of that <laughs> went off. It seems like both of my cameras went off at the same time. I'm not really sure what is happening here. Um, there's just some sort of frequent, let's see, blockage for me um, in technology and cameras. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get my word out here, right? There's so many blockages. <clears throat> All right, so what is the guidance for us in this relationship? Interesting. So it looks like to have some sort of spiritual awakening, connect with the elements of the earth, right? And here we have the sun, which is also an element of earth. New beginnings, there's a baby here. Butterflies, new transformation, a rebirth. All right, we have a little bit of strength here again. And we have the masculine and we have the feminine. Okay, and it looks like you need to get rid of old limiting beliefs, cutting open the wounds. You're thinking about moving forward towards something very quickly. 
right? Maybe you're moving towards your spirituality. Maybe you're just moving towards your person to build this three of cups, this collaboration. All right, you have a lot of strength. You have a lot of wisdom. And this is your guidance, right? The spirit, the, the wind, fire, water, earth. Ground yourself. Journey, explore new areas, even if it, you're in the dark right now. Follow the light. And these two seem to be looking back. Stop looking back, move forward. Childhood wounds, old childhood wounds. Okay, and what are the blocks that need to be removed? Maybe that's why my cameras are going off. Because <laughs> I didn't plug in. Right? Maybe that's for somebody. I need to plug in. Right? These are my blocks. We're talking about blocks. All these blocks keep coming up, right? Um, there's blocks in the frequency of communication or being able to see somebody. Maybe you need to see somebody better. See past the problem and just make it work. Figure it out. Right? So we have the fool. It's taking a leap of faith, you know, to have transformation, have this transformation. You know, you kind of seem unsure if you want to sit down or get up. Are you going to try and run towards somebody? You're blocking yourself, right, from doing this forward movement. Okay, you're very slow. You're taking forever to get here. Like, we're waiting patiently here. When are you going to come in? Right? Make that decision. How, what's the pace that you're going to go to jump in? To make the decision? To come towards your, your twin flame? Who's patiently waiting for you? Okay. You're taking a really long time. This other person is concentrated on themselves. So whether you come or not, or they come or not, this other person is going to figure it out. <clears throat> Find stability on their own. Okay, and then messages to me from my divine partner. What does your divine partner want to let you know? <laughs> Very romantic. They want to come towards you. They want to shower you with gifts. Hmm, the unknown. Right, but they're scared because they, they don't know if you are going to love them back. Because you're already seeming to do pretty well on your own. Okay. 
mean, look at you. You're a little intimidating. You're majestic in your own. You're illuminated by this light. There's the moon, the moon, the moon. Something that needs to be seen, something that needs to be known, the unknown. Okay, you're, mis you're a mystery. You don't really talk about your feelings a lot. And that's intriguing to this person who wants to offer you love and romance and magical things. But you're very intimidating to approach, right? Become more lighthearted, more balanced for this person to approach you. Become a stream. You know, let those emotions go. You're keeping all your emotions here in this cup. You gotta let them go. All right, your emotions are stopping this person from coming towards you. This is why they don't, they're not sure. I have no idea if you love them or not. Because you're so stern, you're so in control. You have your own life. But maybe if you can lighten up and become a little more feminine, let's say. I mean, this is very feminine as well. Beauty and sexy, desirable. But she's so stern. All right, it's almost like the king. She's the queen, but it's almost like the king. Very much in power. Very much in control. So you need to lighten up a little bit. Give this other person some slack, maybe. Maybe they're not romancing you in the way that you want them to. And you're kind of like, look at the look on her face. Like, really? You need to try harder. Is that all you got? All right. Maybe, you know, take the gift as it comes and enjoy it and love it. Even if you don't, <laughs> you know, um, you have to judge, right? What's going to be good for you? Mm-hmm. With the emperor. This is all the kings. This is all control. All right, this is the outcome here, the line here. I don't know if I said that. I feel like we're still getting messages from the divine. <clears throat> this is the message from the divine. This is your outcome. Yeah, let me just release some of that control because it's not known. Mm -hmm. Give me another one for this emperor. The star, which is granted. Right. The divine, the divine is taking over. To bring you this wish. To 
lighten you up, right? Like, look at the progression of her. Right? She's very stern. Very scary to come towards. I mean, she's beautiful. But she definitely has a presence. She has a presence here. It's hard for this person to come towards you. Right? So you need to lighten up. Right? See the progression. Right? You're the warrior here. <laughs> You have wings now, you're starting to become free. You have a lot more wisdom coming through. All right, and now you're really light and you're pouring out these emotions and you're gonna profess your love to this person and let them know that it's safe to come in. And then this is additional guidance. Falling in love. Kissing the divine and another in yourself. You really have to embrace it. Alright, this, this person here looks very wounded. And has to be nurtured a little bit. Right? And this is why they're scared. You kind of have to hold them. You have to become soft. You have to become nurturing for them to come forward. Okay, the unseen. Too much is hidden from you. Right? Here's the unknown cup again. Card. Too much is hidden. Lots of things are hidden. Right? The cameras keep going off. So this message is going to be hidden if it doesn't record. Okay. You're too mysterious. You don't know what this other person is feeling. Okay, are their intentions good or are they bad? Because this looks kind of creepy. Right? Are they devouring people? Is this a heartbreaker? Somebody's going to break your heart? So you have to hide in this cave. Hide your light. Right? Are you going to show your light? This is a four. Foundation. Water fight. Heaviness lifts. Burdens are cast away. Weightlessness. Alright. Once you can come out of this cave and trust. Because you have the sweet embrace. It's going to change. Because it's a five card. Fourteen. You know, what are you fighting about? So are you fighting about something? You're having a water fight, you know? Which kind of brings up the lightheartedness of maybe something that you're disagreeing on at the moment. Right? Because you're not really shooting each other, but you're shooting each other with water. But it's kind of fun. But that can get out of hand as well. Right? Get a little too serious with it and shoot the other person in the eye and they're upset, <laughs> you know. Um, maybe that's why you can't see anymore, right? Love is blind. Falling in love. Love is blind. You're always going to have arguments about things, right? Disagreements. Opposing energies. So yeah, I mean, just need to loosen up, heal those old wounds, become one with spirit, open yourself up, be no more nurturing so that romance can come in, okay, see your future. 
You don't know what the future is going to hold, but you got to take that leap of faith. Because something beautiful is coming in. Your wishes will be granted. But you have to fight for it. You have to move forward regardless, no matter if it's slow or fast. You just need to keep moving forward. Eventually you'll get there. Okay, I'm going to do a crystal. This is not really part of the spread, but... Ooh. Bloodstone, get up and get moving. <laughs> That's what I just said. Just keep moving. And you'll find your shining star. You'll find your night. You'll find your love. You'll find your family. You'll get rid of the old wounds. And these unknowns become seen. There, shine the light on, right? The light, the light has been illuminated. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the end of the reading for pile one. Okay. If any of the other piles resonate with you as well, please take a look at those. Some of the energies might pop through as well. Um, if you like this reading, please share, like, and subscribe. Okay. This is pile number two. You are drawn to this deck of cards or this beautiful stone, which I would have to look up what it is again, which I should have done. And I forgot. So I'm just too excited to get going here. Um, this reflects a lot of energy, right? And it's a beautiful rainbow color. So it, this brings me a lot of happiness and it reflects negative energy. All right, and this is the Light Sears Tarot. It's my favorite deck. I love this deck. And you probably already know that because I use it the most. It's the easiest to read for me intuitively. Uh, I really connect with this deck. Okay. Oh, the lovers right here. So this is your uh, the divine feminine energy. Uh, you have a lot of strength very courageous um, you have a lot of cycles of death and rebirth you're very aware of yourself um, you're very secure in yourself you're very loving very passionate 
This is Leo energy. This is about freedom. Okay, and this is the Divine Masculine. Wow. Beautiful energies, both of you here. Okay, this person is very free. They bring a lot of light to your life. They help you make choices. Um, take advantage, help you take advantages of opportunities that come. Um, you might be admired by others. You're really shining your light. You could be a spiritual leader. You beat to your own drum. You surf your own waves. Like you just go with the rhythm. You go with the vibrations. Okay, what is going on? Ooh. Oh, we got, so we got the Nine of Cups again, which we got in the first reading, so. And it was in the same category of what's going on. Except for it was over on this side. You might want to go back to um, pile number one to read about this or to hear about it. Um, so... I believe we got this one too. The King of Cups is very emotionally stable. Right? So, they're in their own. Maybe they're just in their own little world here. And that could be breaking your heart. Or you could be the opposite way around. Maybe you are in your own little world and it's breaking this other person's heart and they all, all they want is some romance. Or that you are somebody that heals this by being present and romantic and thinking of this other person and what their emotional needs might be. Right? You have an inner knowing of this person and their heartaches. And you got the string here, like maybe you're trying to sew it together. It's trying to be sewn together here. Because this person's love is going to heal your heart. Right, because they're the sun. Okay. It's the overarching energy. The crane bag it looks like a change purse made out of shells. Sacred ocean medicine, clutter, declutter, choice. All right. So something about saving your change for a rainy day, right? To have some sort of a date later some sort of romantic date clutter declutter right declutter the mind get rid of the clutter you have the choice if you want to be with this person or not, because it seems like you're, you're in your own here. They're in their own. But this person is also going to help you heal some of the maybe old beliefs about what love is. Right? You need to have the strength to see it and from a different light. Right? Because your heart has been broken in the past. Right? Determine what is good and what's bad for you. It looks like this person's really good for you. Alright, so 
So what is the guidance? High Priestess, all-knowing, getting away from something. All right, you've learned of something and now you're moving forward, you're moving on, you're creating this union. Oh, beautiful. You're giving birth to something new, something beautiful. And this is very fast movement, the chariot, which is a cancer card. All right, and this is your guidance. All right, so you need to learn something about love, about romance. Get out of these stormy waters and move towards something else. Get out of this broken heart energy and open up to union, which is only gonna bring you clarity and love and abundance. All right, and this is very fast moving. Right, and what are the uh -oh, blocks that need to be removed? Mm -hmm. It's really hard to do in a spread, especially for the first time. Um, <laughs> trying to figure out exactly what I'm looking at here. Interesting. So this is actually divided. So it's 10 to 12 is guidance and then 13 and 14 are the blocks. So these are the guidance and this is the block. It's a little confusing. I've just been writing it as the whole thing. All right, so the blocks that need to be removed. Are the Emperor and the Chariot. So it makes me think of like an RV here, you know, the blocks that you stick under your wheels, the chocks that hold your trailer in place. All right, this doesn't even have any wheels. You know, the block is you moving towards this for whatever reason. So this emperor, you know, such a beautiful card. It's really hard to see it as a block, right? Maybe you're just, you're giving birth to something else though. Maybe it's somebody else's child. So you can't come towards this person because it's opposing energies, right? That could be for someone. Maybe there's a third party situation that you're walking away from and you regret because you want this union. union. All right, so messages to me from my divine partner is this row here. All right, you're about to have this family. You're gonna be able to survive. You're, once again, family again, right? This beautiful kind of fairy tale when pigs fly.
contemplate it. This is the message from your divine. They want you to think about it, right? This is like a really hard choice to make. If you're having somebody else's baby, but you're in love with someone else that you want to move towards. This seems very fantastical, but you don't really know. It's all about the journey, right? What's the, what's the unseen? What's the unknown here? Are you going to be able to survive? Are we going to be able to take care of the family? Maybe uh, a little bit too much in fantasy land. You're not paying enough attention. Or you're just so much in love here, right? Where you kind of daydream and you're just off in la la land. Right, and you're trying to consider: is this for real? Right, I've been hurt before. I'm walking. I've already walked away from something. I've been hurt before. I don't. I don't know. Do I want to go towards this? This fantastical love that seems too good to be true. Right, and this is the outcome. Okay, I'm sorry and I did mess up on group ones as far as what the messages were coming through, but obviously that was something that wanted to come through that way, um, regardless of what the spread says. So here's your outcome, right? You might be traveling with somebody or making plans to go somewhere, maybe with um, this other person or a group of friends. You need to balance maybe opposing energies, see things in another perspective, take off the blindfold, right? So things are going to be shown to you from another perspective to help you make this decision to move forward towards this person who seems so fantastical. Okay, you become all-knowing. Right, this is, uh, I believe, Archangel Michael for protection, bringing things together. This is that sun again. Bringing the sun and the moon together. You're shining light on something. You're seeing something. Maybe out in the distance. You're reaching for it. It's way out in the distance though. You keep looking out in the distance here. Okay. Out in the distance. Deep down in the ocean. Or pool of water. Whatever that may be. Could be a pond. Those symbols here. You need to see some symbolism coming through. It's interesting. We have like these crows here, right? They all tied up in strings. They're always in strings here. Strings attached. Maybe you need to have some sort of. I don't even want to say cord cutting. I think you're actually tying these strings. You are tying the cords to this person. You're being divinely led to them, right? Without seeing where you're going or knowing where you're going. It's being divinely led by these angels. So look at the other side, look at the perspective. You know, do your pros and cons.
Atlantis, interesting. Rapid development, excellent success. Right, what did I say at the bottom of the ocean here, right? Atlantis is at the bottom of the ocean. People always talk about it like, is it real? Isn't it real? Um, pretty sure there's evidence of it, right? Or is this just something that somebody makes up? I mean, there's always things, unicorns, aliens, uh, Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot. People are always having this controversy of, are they real or aren't they real? Right, and it's all about perspective. What is your perspective? What is the evidence to show you? What do you feel intuitively without even seeing it, right? It's like that with their spirituality, right? Um, you may or not be able to see your spirits. Some of you can, but for the most part, you feel your spirits, you feel their presence. Right. Rapid development, things that are unknown. Wave of power, a surge of power, upswing in energy, exhilarating movement. Six card, harmony. It's going to bring you a lot of harmony. That is that fast movement again of the chariot. Accelerating movement. Rapid development. These are like both in your blocks here. The present. Gift. Treasure. Relevant to own value. Nowness. Be present. And I think I said something about that. Like you're up in your own little world here. Maybe you're scrolling too much on social media. You're doing other things. You're paying attention to other people, places or things that aren't your lover. Right? And so they maybe feel like um, they need your presence. I need you to be present because your presence are literally presents, right? You unwrap the gift, present, present of yourself, present of love. See, maybe you're finding Atlantis right now. This is a gift. Go with the flow. Go with the way you feel. What? How does it make you feel? And make your choice from that. Okay. Hi, right. Let the money flow in. Okay, it's about abundance. Great, and this is very similar. Hi, right. It's very similar to the stone here where it's got all these jagged pieces, edges. It reflects back the light. It's very sparkly and shiny. You know, maybe this person is going to give you stability, be able to give you that uh, financial stability to help you with this child. Whereas maybe the other partner is unable to do that for whatever this knowing was. Right? Maybe they had a third, part, third party situation. Uh, maybe they passed away and you're a widow. Um, maybe it just didn't work out or <laughs> maybe it was the first time and this mistake happened, right? You got pregnant by accident, you weren't trying to. And this other person doesn't want anything to do with that. All right, so you moved away from it. But you're finding this new love. This other person here, you're gonna see things in a new way. 
you've never seen it before. They're going to offer you something that no one has, has ever offered you. Okay. Okay, thank you for working with me and having patience and figuring out the spread because um, I'm still not sure I'm, not do I'm doing it right. But, um, you know, the messages come in how they come in. So you got to release that uh, feeling of I'm not doing it right, you know, because the messages are still coming in. And they show up how they want to. You can't force it. All right, so thank you, pile number two. If you found this to be helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, and if you like, stick with me for pile number three. too hot in the window there bud oh no you're not looking too hot mm -hmm. you're gonna join this reading as you injure yourself oh I'm sorry buddy oh, well you can just rest there and heal I don't know you don't look too good okay so this is the feminine energies. This is the masculine energy. I feel like there's a just with this ladybug here. Ladybugs represent luck, and it's it looks like it's dying, and it's struggling. Right? There might be a lot of struggle. Oh my goodness! Right? Struggle. Here, this is your masculine energy, and this is what is going on between the two of you. Wow. See, my heart is broken right now just for this beautiful ladybug who seems to be struggling so much. I just have to go put him outside um, for his final resting place. Right. Oh, okay. I can't stand to watch him anymore. So I'm gonna put him out. Put him outside. Come on, buddy. Okay. Bye. Rest in peace. Okay. Ah. All right. Poor little guy. All right, he is outside. Is going to become one with Earth again. I pray for your soul to find what you're looking for. Okay, I'm got a fluttery feeling now. All right, it's getting warm in here. Okay. So the Divine Feminine, you have you have to get courage here. Um, you know, faith is going to work in your favor, but it seems that you need to have some courage. Almost looks like this person is begging, right? This, and they're throwing money at you. 
And this person over here is also like, oh yeah, I'm really excited about this, but this person is a little more on the please give me your love. You know, I feel like it's like know your worth, right? Maybe you don't know what your worth is. You have all of these things. that make you, you, but somehow, somewhere down the line, maybe a father figure told you you weren't good enough. Maybe it was another male figure who told you you weren't good enough and that you wouldn't be able to survive without them. And so you're begging for this money or the support. Okay, and they're very arrogant and cocky about it. Like, yeah. I know you need me. Right? And this is the divine masculine. Right? And they are really messing with your mind. They are messing with you. They, they offer you something and then they put you in the dark which breaks your heart. It seems to be like a cycle. This could be a narcissistic connection. Right? Because here we have what's going on and I feel like you're walking this tightrope here. You know, between your mind, which we have a bunch of swords here. This, a lot of swords. With this masculine. This is about the mind. This is air. This is about challenges. Okay, they're keeping you in the dark. They're offering you something, but they're not really giving it to you. They're keeping you in the dark about something. And you can feel it internally you're not really sure exactly what it is the forces that are making you beg right you don't have this courage here you know or this is the big man that thinks he has courage but he's really tearing you down right even the sun card she looks like she's in agony and she's naked so she's exposing herself and she's kind of in this ghetto but she's got some beautiful flowers here so as long as she just keeps looking at these flowers and going towards that even the horse looks worried for her like let me help you get out of here let's go towards something beautiful so we can forget about this all right let's get you outside even though you look like you are so pale you're sick you're not feeling good. You know, the sunlight might actually be burning you. You don't have protection. You don't have your sunscreen on. You're exposed. You know, she seems a little like, ah, fingers all over, ah, like this crazy feeling. You're making me feel crazy because of this narcissistic energy. I'm having to white walk that type rope. There's no balance or barely any balance. You're about to fall off. These are all over the place. Your emotions are all over the place. These powers, these towers here almost seem like they're like paper towel rolls like the cardboard in between and they're painted right which I think this is a, a six X I which would be a harmony balance and harmony Not 
You might be getting a divorce. Sayonara. There's some contracts here. If you're selling your house, you're kind of fixing it up in order to sell it. Okay, whoever this person is is not is not your twin flame. This person is toxic energy. Right? And just with the, the ladybug at the beginning dying, like this is the energy of the ladybug here. This is trying to walk. I can't fix it though. Wow, this is very strong energy. Okay, Coral's Wisdom, Colony, uh, Delicacy, Fragility, Works that are created over great periods of time. Okay, this is almost like a clock here. Over time, you've been torn down like you're so fragile now right but you've gained a lot of wisdom from this and you're gonna move on four foundation stability foundation you're moving on Okay, so the guidance. Mm, you're scared to balance things out and look to new horizons. Because of things unseen And you're looking for advice. Maybe you need some motherly advice on what to do here. I don't think I've actually seen this moon card before for them for this deck. This is Souls of Fire. Souls on Fire. It's a full revolution. Maybe you grew up without a mother. You didn't have somebody to be a good role model for you. To help guide you and bring balance to your emotions and your thoughts and your passions. Oh, wow, so you got pentacles, wands, swords. And we have the moon, which would be the cups, right? Emotions. But you're scared of having passion. Because of this narcissist energy, which is totally understandable. I mean, you're just sticking to your dogs and your animals and your pets. And just being a loner, you know, you're not really alone because you have your animals and they love you. And they love you unconditionally. Mm -hmm. All right, and then messages, let's see. So 13, 14, that's these two. So these are your blocks that need to be removed. Mm 
I've got to change the battery now. And maybe you're juggling too many things at one time that you don't really know about. All right, so I'm having to control two cameras here. You know, one goes out, I turn the other one off, and then that one goes out and I turn the other one on. So we've got this mumbo jumbo of different screens going on and off. You know, and that's what this person is doing to you. They're turning you on and turning you off. They're making you feel like you can't live without them. and you just need to recharge your battery, right? And run off of your own power. All right, um, and then we have uh, messages to me from my divine partner. Hmm, I would have to look that up, All right? So it's a card that she has that's not in all tarot decks. It's her own specific, excuse me, specific card. Okay, so messages from your divine partner. Okay, so uh, somebody it's moving backwards, just dude. It's a lot of backwards movement here, right? This one's looking at you, but all of these are looking backwards. Somebody is stuck in the past with their own challenges, right? They need to raise their consciousness. Right, they're kind of in la la land here. They're not really fucking paying attention. Like looking up at the sky, looking up at the sky, looking up at the sky, about to fall off the cliff. You're just aimlessly going through life. Kind of um, robotically. getting something like your temper is too short right like this guy's legs are touching the ground here but the horse is like kneeling down do you have a short temper somebody has a short temper all right they need to raise their consciousness they need to become more aware of what they're doing Gain more information, more worldly information. Um, you know, how to, to balance maybe a home life. It looks like you maybe are at home here. You know, they're kind of careless, right? It's ah, so much narcissistic energy here, right? <laughs> protection, protection. Protect yourself. Because your animals can't help you. All they can do is sit back and watch. You need to raise your own consciousness. Because this person is stuck. They are just in this trance. Maybe they have a spirit that has taken over. There's some sort of negative spirit around that needs to maybe be illuminated by the next full moon, which is the 24th, three days from now, the Virgo full moon, which is about, you know, Virgos protect, or about um, wanting everything to be perfect.
right? Things to work. I want things to work properly. And they're in innovative, right? If it's not working out, they'll figure out how to make it work so that it works better. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this is the outcome. Whoa, well, that's a, looking better. Wow, okay, yeah. Okay. The outcome, fast movement, celebration, something's coming to an end. So we have the Knight of Cups coming towards you now, right? And they're actually moving. Like, there you're standing up here. This horse is moving. This one is stagnant. All right, they're going to, somebody else is going to come towards you with emotional offer, with a new beginning of courage, divine guidance, the doves, right? Doves only have like one partner over their lifetime. Okay, and you're going to celebrate this. It's going to be a lot of growth, a lot of harvest with this. Okay, they, you are wrapped up now. You're no longer so vulnerable. And this is fast movement. <laughs> oh, crabs on there. Cancer card. Okay, this person is coming at you with fast movement. Well, yeah, it looks like they have a love arrow here. They're gonna hit you with their love arrow. And there's like pharaohs, right? Arrow, pharaoh, it rhymes. Maybe they'll, they're gonna write you a poem. Something that rhymes. Um, profess their love to you in some way with a, a fast movement. Okay, and this is not that narcissistic person that you're currently dealing with. So this is a new person. As soon as you become unconscious or come out of your unconscious into your consciousness, this person will come. Right, and they're bringing you healing. This is, this looks like acupuncture to me. Maybe they're hitting your nerves just in the right places for you to heal and release tension. Okay, you're relaxing the mind. You're enjoying the sunset at the beach with the rolling hills and the calm waters. It's a beautiful night. Yeah, that's good because the energy was so dark and, you know, being married to a, a narcissist at one point and, and walking away from it, you know, I totally resonate with this, this feeling and um, kind of makes my stomach turn. Great, I did learn a lot from that relationship. And I really, you know, believe I needed to go through that in order to get to where I am now. Um, you need to learn certain lessons in life. You know, we made the soul contract to be here to experience the human experiences, whether they're good or bad, right? Because the bad usually is what brings you the most knowledge, um, really shines the most light in the dark, I feel like. Soul cage, rescue, escape from captivity, and uh, restriction, right? We were just talking about this. Four, six, this is six cards. This is about harmony, right? You need to have harmony again. That balance, right? You gotta save yourself. Get out of this cage this narcissist has you in. Right? And this reminds me of uh, The Little Mermaid, where she's saving the prince from drowning after a shipwreck, after the storm. 
Okay, this person is going to rescue you. And, um, you know, here at the Little Mermaid, it, it's about Ursula, who's, you know, keeps trying to go after this prince. Right, which is very narcissistic energy. Um, manipulation. Trickery. Song of the Siren. The Call. Summoning. Voice. To Acknowledge. This is a beautiful card. It's a five card as well. Changes are coming. Right? Riches are coming. Abundance. Knowledge. The call, the summoning, the voice. Like when you're with a narcissist, you don't really have a voice. Right? You're calling for help. You're in the, stuck in this cage. You're calling for help. Song of the Siren. It reminds me of uh, Star Wars and the princess or she's singing singing the songs of sorrow while she's in jail while she's being captivated um it might just be space bells i'm pretty sure <laughs> it's actually star wars too i'm not a star wars fan though and i always fall asleep if i try to watch it and i'm sorry if that offends anybody um i mean i think it's interesting story but it's not really my jam right and that's okay um, but I definitely know it's in Spaceballs and it's kind of the parody of Star Wars. The mirror, know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. All right, take a look in the mirror. All right, this other person's been telling you who you are for so long that you don't know who you are and you need some saving. Right. Yeah. So some of you are moving on and the twin flame is coming towards you and they're going to rescue you and they're going to make you feel calm and you're going to be celebrating and you're going to have some self-reflection. You know, and protect yourself, right? Put up that mirror. Protect yourself. Put that bubble of mirrors around you. Re you know, reflect back the negative energy. Show it to the person. Whoever's bringing it to you and trying to throw it at you, throw it right back. Okay? They might just kind of go away on their own because they can see themselves. And how toxic they are. Right? And then you can see that you've been caged up for so long. And you didn't even realize it. The Golden Healer Quartz. Open the door. Right? Open the door for this new person. They're coming. They might come on knocking. Knock out that energy, right? Clear out that energy. Protection. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that was your reading for pile number three. Um, that energy was very strong, very, very strong. Um, I'm going to have to meditate a little bit after that. That definitely brings up some things in me. I can feel it going from my solar plexus up to my throat. Um, it's the gut feeling. It's the things that you need to say. Okay. Thank you for being here with us as a collective. I thank our angels for being here and protecting us. 
and guiding us on our journey. If you found these to be useful, please like, share, and subscribe so that others can enjoy the benefit as well. Thank you for being at One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. Get to um, light a candle, spray some sage, do something to clear your energy, okay, and protect yourself. Create the bubble, okay, have that bubble project out into the world and surround the area that you're in as far as you'd like, protecting yourself, protecting your home, your family, your property your state, your country, the world. Expand. Expand that protection. And bring in love. Thank you for being here. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.